Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to design a real-time structure in Start Pro. So since most of you have asked me how to do it, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, let me show you how the structure is going to be. So this structure is going to have a, a gantry frame. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. And you can see that we have bracing members provided and uh, the trust member has uh, a vertical distance at the edges. It is not completely uh, acute at that point and it has double eye sections uh, till the gantry riders and then it has a single eye section. It has bracings, it has purlins and it also has tie members. So this part it is called as tie member and uh, the parts where the purlins are connected to the tie members uh, these purlins are called as tie runners so these purlins you can see that they run at all the points whereas tie runners they run at every other point only so it is according to you only if you design them for every uh, two points like if this is provided at this point then if it is uh, passing then no problem it is completely up to you can provide them anywhere so since this is an already completed model and for me it passed only at this point therefore I'm going to provide it like this so this is our structure so let's get started let me go and open a new structure go to space and let me give it as um, say 1 1 and make sure the units are in meter and kilonewton click next click add beam and then finish so now close this one click on 0 so now we can see the node and then uh, let me show you I'm sorry. So at this point you can see that uh, the span of the truss is 18.44 meters. So 18.44. So I'm going to go here and click 18.44. Click add. Now we have got click on modeling. Now we'll this will be visible. Just click shift plus K. You can see your nodes here. Go here, uh, select the nodes and click on translational repeat now you have to see what is the height of the columns so till the gantry girder uh, the height is going to be 11.55 therefore i'm going to say in y direction it is 11.55 click link steps click on ok now we have got it and then again click these two nodes and then go to y direction again the distance is 2.44 so 2.44 click on link steps now we have got it now go to this add beam option and add a beam here and you can see that at the midpoint at this point uh, we have a vertical height of about 3 meter for the truss so go to this uh, option called insert node and insert a midpoint to this insert a midpoint and in case you know how to you know model a structure you can skip this and go to the next video this is for beginners only so go to this node and click on translational repeat by direction for a spacing of 3 meter link steps and click ok so now we have got this and we need to provide a height for this also again y distance is 0.9 link steps ok now we have got this now go to uh, this add beam option and add the beam to these things now if you look at <coughs> the completed structure you can see that this 1.31 meter it is constant uh, except for this point therefore this constant for 1 2 3 4 5 6 things so therefore I'm going to select um, go to node cursor select this one and select translational repeat before that let us look into 3d view so this direction is going to be x direction so go to translational repeat x direction you need a spacing of uh, 1.31 and you don't need to link steps and all but you need six steps for them so click ok and now you can see there are six nodes created similarly click this node and click on translational repeat this time you have to provide minus 1.31 because you want it in the opposite direction and then click uh, provide six things and click ok now we have got this also so now i have to provide this vertical member so for that uh, an easy step is to uh, select all these nodes together go to translational repeat in y direction the height is going to be 5 meter just click link steps and now the members will be created now you have to delete all these things for that you have to just go and click all this and go to geometry click insert selected member click enter now you'll have all these things 
I mean uh, this uh, beam will be divided since an intersection point is given now we can just go ahead and delete these things and voila you will have your uh, I think it's better to just click on control and delete them altogether so now you have this now again if you look at the completed structure you need to provide your inclined members so go to add beam click your just simply you have to do it by hand you don't have any shortcuts for this sadly so do it it is easy if you do it here if you are like uh, doing it for the whole structure it will be very tough therefore it is wise to complete your modeling in one truss and then go for translational repeat uh, to provide this 3d structure if you are like uh, doing it for every other step it will be very time consuming so now that this is over let me look at my structure it is something like this so i need to provide my uh, node points here as well because uh, my uh, purlins are running throughout uh, that point also therefore i'm going to go here let me just check how many parts are there one two three four five parts therefore i need to provide uh, four nodes in between therefore select these two columns go to add node or insert node option click on add endpoints and here I'm going to provide four points therefore click on OK now if you go and select the distance between the nodes you can see that this 2.31 meter which is also press correct here so here it is 2.31 only for the first node therefore it is correct just click on auto save so just click on this one to remove all the nodes node to node distances that's it so now I want you to go to general and click on property so it is just simply you have to follow this order so go to property and now uh, we are going to provide different properties for different sections so till this point we know that we are going to provide a double uh, I section here a single I section and uh, similarly it will be symmetrical to this side also and then uh, for these parts that is uh, the rafter members and the tie members and these two vertical uh, members I am going to provide a hollow square section of uh, 60 by 60 by uh, some thickness of 4 mm or whatever first I uh, I model the structure with double angle and all and it passed but it will be very difficult to weld two angles together in the site therefore it is better to provide a, a complete uh, square section instead of uh, doing that though it will be like uh, it will not be very economical also but at the same time it will be very time consuming therefore I am going to provide square hollow section for these parts and then for the parts which are in between I'm going to provide uh, again a square hollow section but of a smaller dimension that's it so in the next video let us see how to provide um, the section properties for the uh, trust members thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next video bye